If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform this satin scarf that I purchased from Amazon into this lovely customized Chanel rhinestone scarf, keep watching this video. So today in this video, I'm working on a, a satin scarf. I got this off Amazon for about eight bucks. So a friend of mine is wanted me to make a gift for, I think her cousin just became a pastor, a reverend or something like that. And she wanted her to have like a nice scarf, like I guess like a prayer scarf or a scarf to put over your lap in church or something of that nature. So I ordered this off Amazon and I cut out some Chanel logos. She really likes Chanel and her favorite color is black. I was a little nervous about this because I've never done this before and I just wanna make sure everything is even and make sure everything looks nice. So I have my iron here set to, I don't know, but it's not on the highest setting because I don't wanna burn this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up, see how big um, this is. So let's do that. Oh, wow. Oh, this is kind of huge. Let me zoom out. Okay, so it's a lot bigger than what I expected. So because of that reason, I did make some larger size um, Chanel logo. Then I got a couple smaller ones. So let's just see here. And I wasn't given a reference picture or anything, and that's fine. So I'm just gonna kind of freestyle this. Wow, that's a nice size scarf. Okay, so I have my press pillow. Whoa, okay. And I don't feel like it has to have C's all over it. I just feel like, uh, let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see how, how we gonna do this. I am going to fold it in half and maybe, let's see, put, put some C's here. Um, I don't know. Okay, I think I'll put, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna kinda base it off the creases, how I wanna, Okay, I need my Teflon sheet, I'll be back. Okay, I have my Teflon sheet. And I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm just going to gently press over this for a few seconds. Again, I do not have the steam on. You wanna make sure the steam is off when you're using your iron. If you have a heat press machine, of course, go ahead and use that. But turn it down if you have it set for cotton. see here did it stay okay I might have to press it down a little bit more or maybe even turn up the heat a little bit just a little bit or apply a little bit more pressure if it doesn't come off like like smooth because you know most heat transfer vinyl is warm peel, which means you peel it off while it's warm. You'll know if it's a cold peel, usually a cold peel is when it's chrome or those specialty holographic um, heat transfer um, vinyls. They have to be cold, like all the way cooled down, then you peel it. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so now I'm peeling this off. It was like kind of, it's not perfect. It's kind of was like seeming like it wanted to almost melt. You have to really, really be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest. Okay, so it started to get a little difficult for me. I just had to really play around with it. I think the issue was that I had the heat set on a little bit too low and if you have it set on too low then the vinyl will not properly adhere to the fabric so what I'm doing right here is I'm just trying to make sure everything is lined up as best possible I wanted everything to be kind of symmetrical 
So I'm just uh, I folded up the scarf to where I already had the the one larger Chanel and I just kind of have it side by side. So that's how I'm going to approach the rest of this. I'm going to try to make sure everything is symmetrical, get everything ironed on and then go ahead and peel it off. But um, you definitely don't want to have it too hot. You want to have it a little bit lower than cotton, but you don't want to have it too low either. Because I end up making a mistake and I'll show you what I did and how I end up fixing it. And if you're wondering what measurements I did, I'm not exactly sure exactly how big this entire scarf was, but I know that this larger size Chanel logo was at least a seven by seven um, or a seven by eight inch. And the smaller ones were at least a three by three. And just an FYI, I do have some pre-cut vinyl available on my website, myrawradiance.com. Pre-cut vinyl is available if you don't have your own cutter. Okay, so this is kind of how it's looking. This is how it's looking. It's spaced out pretty good. Um, I didn't want everything too close, but let me just kind of show you. At that bottom left and that top right of the Chanel, I didn't have it turned up high enough. It wasn't hot enough, so it kind of stretched the vinyl. So you can see it's like a little wrinkly. So I had to fix this. So I ended up just adding rhinestones to it to kind of fix my mistakes. Because originally rhinestones weren't in the plan. So I was like, okay, I have to fix this, make this look a little bit better. Um, it was actually my homegirl's idea. So I'm going to use E6000. I have a wax pickup tool I'm using. And I'm using some 5 millimeter um, resin rhinestones. And they're the color clear. I also used a little bit of four millimeter as well. So I gave her the scarf. I kind of showed it to her and showed her my error. And I just kind of told her, you know, um, if you like it, just go ahead and keep it. Don't worry about it. And she was like, you know what? I do see the error that you made. She was like, how about if you just go over it with rhinestones, then it won't be noticeable. And I said, ah, okay, that's a really good idea. So I ended up going over it with the rhinestones just on the larger seeds. Now, if you decide that you want to add rhinestones to all the um, this Chanel logos, definitely go ahead and do that. But that's not um, what I decided to do. That wasn't the plan. And I think it was nice just having the two larger seeds blinged out and the smaller ones just normal. Um, now, this is something that you can definitely do to your own liking. Um, you can put whatever initials, logo, whatever you want on there. It doesn't have to be the Chanel. Um, this is just what was requested. But you'll just see me finish um, blinging these seeds out. And it didn't take me too long, um, but it did take some time. Um, but I think it did turn out really cute, you guys. And E6000 is really good. It's a good glue to use if you want to bling out some clothing. Especially because um, you want to let it cure at least 24 to 48 hours, but at least maybe a week before washing. But I know from using this glue in the past, this is the glue you want to use if you want to be able to wash something, at least gently. It, it lasts on denim, it lasts on t-shirts and cotton, so it's a really good glue to use for that.
Okay, so this is coming together very nicely. I'm almost finished. And I'm gonna show you guys the final result in just a moment. And I just looked at my Amazon just to see exactly how big this scarf is. And it said it's 35 inches. That is really big. So this is a huge scarf. And I think it was only about six or seven dollars for this scarf. And they did have multiple colors. Um, they had a few different styles, but 35 inches is the size of the scarf, you guys. Just in case you were wondering. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this scarf. I just kind of like gathered it together because it's just so big, so wide. Um, just so you can kind of see that I have the smaller C's there. They're kind of spaced out really good. Then I have the bigger C's here. And the bigger C's, again, are about a 7x7, seven seven, maybe a 7x8 seven size and in inches, if you're wondering. And this came out really cute. Um, my friend loved it uh, as a gift for her cousin or whoever the person was but thanks you guys for watching this video I hope you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share it with someone who may be interested thank you for watching this channel if you do decide to subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thanks again bye bye website myworldradiance.com and we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code myroyalbeauty10 off. Check out our website crtacticaldefense.com where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code vibes for a special discount for my subscribers.